guys, it's me, Danielle Danny Buttons, and I'm here today to show you my desk. I figured I would give you a tour of where I color, show off what's in my desk, things like that. I always love to look in other people's desks, so hopefully you'll enjoy this. But basically, here's an overview. I'm gonna discuss it real quick, and then we're gonna like zoom in on different stuff. Okay, so here's my desk. It is a Linmon, Limon, Limon, um, tabletop from Ikea and a set of Alex drawers and then the legs. I really like this. There are multiple sizes of this tabletop so it can fit your needs. And I'm pretty sure the tabletop was $15, which is incredible. So as we get up closer, you'll see that it has some dings and um, some damage. I think I've had it for over three and a half years at this point, but for $15, you really can't beat it. And it's all because I'm not very careful on my desk. So that's the problem there. And I feel I'm just gonna flip it around and reuse it. And I'll explain that when we get closer. Okay, so overview. Terrible cord management, don't look at that. I keep slippers under my desk and a sweatshirt with me at all times. I get cold real easy. That is just like a foot ottoman thing that my sister-in-law actually got in Morocco. And I have used that to death too. So when we zoom in, I'm gonna go through my drawers and then I'm also gonna show you this unit. That unit I got from Home Goods, and I love it a lot. It is the newest addition to my desk. So I guess overall, I have a whole bunch of pictures everywhere. I do scrapbooking, so that's what that is. And then um, we got overhead lighting, but when we moved into this house, we did not have those overhead lights. So that was my only source of light. But now I don't really need to use it as much because we have the overhead lights, but that is where I keep the diamond painting I'm working on. I just keep it on a pants hanger and hang that there. Oh, also this is where I film everything. So that is my like monopod thing that I put my phone right in and you just kind of bend it all around and that's what you get. So I guess we can get closer. My desk chair is from Staples. I have no idea what the brand is. I always keep a little trash bag next to me on the doorknob in case I like need to throw up paper towels or whatever trash comes from doing art. Um, back there I have a giant clipboard and some scrap paper and then my other mat, which is just a large piece of paper. Um, I have no idea if I'm like covering the microphone as I'm holding the phone, so I hope I'm not. I keep water on my desk all the time and that's another cup of things I'm using right now, which again I will show you. So yes, this is the overview. That's actually the desk. I pulled it up. Let's see, can we see what it is? So yeah, it's the Linmon. It comes in multiple sizes, like I said, and then you can buy the legs or drawers. I have the Alex drawers and yeah, different add-ons, all that fun stuff. Wow. I just went on Ikea's website to show you. So that is it. And then I'm gonna put you on the tripod and we'll keep going from there. Okay, so now we are looking down into my desk drawers. There are one, two, three, four, five of them. Um, my only negative point about any of this are these drawers frustrate me a little bit because basically they do not pull out all the way. So you kind of can have trouble getting in the back. Also, I remembered I have this pointer, which I never remember to use, but I got at a teacher store like a few years ago. So I'm gonna use this to point in an effort to stay out of the camera as much as possible. So, um, yes, in this bottom drawer, all of these are my acrylic paints, just the basic ones. I have more acrylic paint somewhere else, but these are my newest set, so these are all nice and new. I got them for Christmas, and this is what I intend to use on, like, coloring pages to do the backgrounds, things like that. That big boy is white gesso, which I've had for years and years. And I just recently bought this clear gesso, and by recently I mean like three days ago. And this bottle is also my iridescent medium. So it's basically sparkle. And I really like that and enjoy that. And then I think that bottle is also a teeny tiny gesso from years and years ago. I just recently put the gesso in my desk because as I, might, I mentioned in a different video, I'm gonna attempt to do some art journaling so I figured I needed gesso. Um, from what I understand, you could put clear gesso, clear gesso on coloring pages to protect the paper, but I have not done it yet, but I'm hoping to. This was white gesso, which is why I have never done it before. 
Okay, so this bucket back here, again, it runs back. I don't know, maybe I can show this in here. Let's see. Okay, that far is how much it goes back into the desk. So again, it's a little bit annoying. I just try to keep stuff that you can easily, easily grab or I put stuff that I don't use very often. So this top bucket is extra diamond painting stuff. Basically the stuff they give you with every single painting. So like the little trays and the little dabbers, all the extras. This bucket is all of my black pens and markers that I mostly collected for my color by numbers, my Disney color by numbers, but I have now started using something else. Actually, that is where the backup of my Tombos are, and I also have some backup RCP pens. This is a three hole punch, and then under this and all behind is mostly like office-y supplies. So I have extra whiteout, extra erasers, extra um, index cards. I have tape, like scotch tape back there. So that is drawer one. Let's see. How, again, I want to minimize me being in the camera. Draw two. I did not pre-clean these drawers very much. Like, what you get is what you... Ooh, that is a spoiler. Hopefully you did not see that. But that was the scavenger hunt round two I'm starting to work on. Okay. <laughs> so, for drawer two. This is majority my planner stickers. I was a big, big planner and into, like, crafty planning or artsy planning, I guess. So I would use a whole bunch of stickers, but I have kind of gotten out of that for the time being, especially right now when there's just nothing to do. Ugh, whatever. Okay. This notebook I actually painted. This was going to be my first attempt at my art journaling, but I've since got a different notebook, but I painted that on there and I thought it came out pretty good. So I'm pretty proud of that. That essentially is like my quarantine journal and I was using that for a few months but I've stopped, but I should get back into it. So yeah, under here is just two big binders of planner stickers. And I also have, um, there's a hand soap, no, a hand lotion and a body lotion that I just keep to lotion myself. And all of these index cards were the ones I used when I did my full flip throughs and my finished pages. That's what I used to mark all my finished pages. Then I also have an extra set of the Statler Tri Plus I think I got that set first, then I got a 20 set, and now I have like a 40 set. So that's just the old set. Okay, next drawer. This drawer is, this is my current planner that I never use. This is that other set that I told you about. Um, and in here I have my paper cutters. I don't know, I'm trying to use the finger, but I have my paper cutters. So I have a big trimmer that trims their... It's a 12 by 12 size trimmer and it's a rolling one. I actually got that at a store called Amazing Savings, which I think is a chain, but I don't know how far reaching it is, but for like 10 bucks years ago and it still works as of now. I also have like a guillotine trimmer somewhere in here and I have a, a Fisker version trimmer that's like a sliding trimmer and that's extras for that. I have a punch. I have another book that I was hoping would be my first junk journal. I really keep trying and trying and not getting anywhere, but we'll see. Um, and that's it. Again, I know this is not the cleanest, but this is what real life is for me. Okay, so <laughs> this drawer, let me zoom out a little bit. Zoom out and adjust. This drawer is really what I'm calling my current project drawer. I try to keep this drawer as empty as possible. It doesn't always happen, but I try. Um, so it has my switch in it right now, which I just got off the tabletop to get out of the way, which is probably silly because now it's in the way over here. Uh, I have my ATG. This is my best crafting purchase ever. If you do any sort of adhering things, I highly, highly recommend the ATG. It, the adhesive takes a long, long time to go through. You can buy it in bulk online to make it affordable. It's not not affordable if you buy their brand, but bulk is usually just better in general. This is my notebook that I showed you that has all of my checklists for what pages I've done in my Disney books. So that's a peek of what my themes are going to be. I'm currently working on a page with my Prismacolors, so that's why that's in here. I keep a spray bottle of water next to me in case I spill anything or need to like clean off my water brushes, things like that. I have some band-aids. I have a hole punch. 
this is usually pretty empty, but right now that's what's in there. So, and now top drawer, big boy. Okay. So this, I'm going to adjust you one more time. I hope it's not annoying. Oop. This is actually a, what are these called? Utensil holder from the dollar store. So that is what I use. I actually, this used to be my utensil holder in the kitchen before I got a much nicer one. And I realized that this is not the best for the kitchen. It works if your drawers are small, but obviously mine was not. But anyways, this is my utensil holder. Um, I really like it for this. It does its job really well. Behind here, again, we go back and we can't see it. Oh, now I'm just on the top and I've gotten my hand stuck. So I just went out the back. Okay. Um, we have, I have a little photo printer. I have some, what else is back there? More adhesive. I have this puff for like your purse when these were really popular. I really love dangling them off of my purses. I have a fidget cube back there. This is like some cute, cutesy stuff. King Triton, Christmas Mickey, a turtle. I love turtles and for years, Everyone knows I love turtles, so I get lots of turtle gifts, but it's hard to find places for the stuffed ones. So this is my old sharpener, some extra lead. This whole pocket is post-it notes. These are by no means all of my post-it notes, but these are the ones I keep next to me to use as page markers. I know a lot of people are thinking it's a waste to use these, and I agree and disagree. Um, it is frustrating to just throw them out, but for me, they're definitely fulfilling their purpose and I was still buying them. So if I wasn't using them, I was just hoarding. So I'm happy to be using them. This pocket has some washi and it has my favorite eraser, which uh, there's another one that I'll be showing you in a minute, but that's an eraser. I always keep chopsticks with me. Uh, I use them to like stir paint or if I have to like poke something that's chopstick length away. This is my Derwent my sharpener, not sharpener, eraser. It like, I don't know. I don't know if I really think these work, but I have one because everyone else had one. I keep some uh, chapsticks in here. There's another chapstick. I keep the nail bomb, the nail, what are you called? Cuticle oil, that's what that is. These are just some uh, random pens. A lot of them are more writing pens. These are just a random set of gel. What are you? Pilot G2 metallic gel pens. I have another giant eraser and I have more fidget spinners. I do still grab for my fidget spinners every once in a while. I'm a fidgety lady, so I bought into the craze, but not too bad. I think I have five total, which is probably bad considering how old I am, but too bad. This is a corner rounder and that's basically it. This is kind of messy right now, but again, this is really true life and it I know where everything I need is in here. I know where everything I need is in here. So that's what's important to me. Now I'm gonna pause you again and then we're gonna go through the stuff on my desk, just like looking down at the mat. So be right Okie dokie, so things I keep on my desk directly, including that little storage unit that I'm gonna show you. First, I just wanted to show off my uh, water bottles sit on my little noodle coasters and I think they're super cute. I actually got four of these from like Shutterfly. They were free deal of the day. And I kept two, gave one to Sam, one to my dad. So that's just something cute. I also right now have my, let's get these off, my color chart book and my bullet journal on my desk. I love my bullet journal. Use that every day. Okay, then on my desk right now, and only sometimes I have this hand cup. This used to be where I stored my stuff before I got that little unit, but this is much smaller. So right now I have some jelly rolls that I would like to haul to you. And then the pencils that I'm using on a specific page that I don't wanna forget what colors. So I've been coloring this same page in Romantic Country for a long time, and I'm hoping to get it done today or tomorrow. It's actually a buddy color with Ren and she's also been coloring for a long time and it's just romantic country is a difficult book sometimes. Okay, I also keep this little turtle trinket holder, I guess. These are a bunch of shrinky dinks I made. I actually am hoping to make some of the magnets 
and some of them earrings. I'm just making a mess right now, so I think that will be fun as little earrings. I made little Mickey Mouse ones. I made these are earrings. I had some extra shrinky dink paper, so I made this little worm, and I love him so much, and I don't understand why that's my favorite thing, but I will put my rings in there when I don't need to have them on, so I'll put them in there if I'm playing, like, with clay or slime or anything like that, or, like, when I go shower, I don't have my rings on, but I'll put them here, or I also have more of these all over the house. I love trinket trays. Okay, so first on top of that unit was this thing, which you probably saw, <clears throat> excuse me, but this I got from Target on clearance, and it's just essentially a, oh no, I've hit the camera. See, now you'll see why I hit the monopod so much, because it's just a little wiggly guy that's hanging right in the way. So this is like, um, I don't, now I'm gonna seem foolish phonograph is what they were but you can just put your phone in there and it like amplifies it and I listen to a lot of audiobooks so I love having this because I don't really want to hook up to a big speaker for just me myself but it's definitely useful to put your phone in there obviously my phone is in my tripod right now but that's how it was and then I it fits perfectly perfectly on the top of that unit so that's been great now I'm just going to show you from the bottom drawer up <clears throat> The bottom drawer is a bunch of washi tape. I have hundreds and hundreds of washi tapes. Um, my first viral video was actually a bunch of washi tape that I think my video is from 2012 and I showed off my collection at that point and I showed you a bunch of tips and tricks at that point and that video has like over 100,000 views, it's crazy. I don't know why people are still watching it, but they are, so. This is obviously a teeny tiny selection, so when I do my full room tour, you'll see my full collection. But I've been trying to use my washi tape more because, again, some of these I've had for nearly 10 years now. And until recently, I had never even finished one roll. I now did finish one roll, but I feel like it almost doesn't count because it was from the split coloring, just taping the backs but it's still used. So I tried to keep some on my desk in effort to grab them more often. We'll see. It works a little bit. I also like to use them on my wall calendar a lot. This next drawer is random. It is just my glasses. So I don't need glasses for up close. I need them for distance. So I just have them in here. These are actually like the velvet mats that you could put at the bottom of the drawer, but obviously that makes the drawers not clear, so it's really a preference thing. I've just decided to keep them all in here. I have a few pairs of glasses. This was like my expensive pair, but now I've discovered cheap pairs and I've been buying them and I'm hoping to buy some more soon because these are super cute. And then I just have my extra watch band in there. I just got this new watch band and I love it a lot because it's yellow and I like yellow. And also it just makes me look so nice and tan. So that is that drawer. I just kept losing my glasses because I put them down because I don't need them in the house and then I don't know where they went. This is an important drawer that I'm gonna go through entirely. Should I like dump it out and then put them back in? Sure. Okay, so this one I actually did keep the velvet at the bottom because I wanted to, to not scratch as much as I could. Um, yeah, I keep a back scratcher. This is an extendable back scratcher. I, I, I hate being itchy, so I love my back scratcher. I have this bone folder. This is to make creases on paper for card making, things like that. Um, yeah, that's what that is. I have a paintbrush. I keep all of my paintbrushes in a different spot, which again, you'll see in my full tour, but I keep one on me and also my one water brush on me. This is full of water. And I just always have that near my desk. I have these guys in here. This is the Crayola Take Note Erasable Highlighters. I really love these. I use these a lot in my bullet journaling. Um, but yeah, you can color with the one side and then erase with the other. So it's super nice. Like if you're trying to make shapes and it gets a little bit out of control, you just clean up the edges. So keep that in there. I keep my current Tombow, which is what I use for my Disney coloring books. So I keep my current one in there. You saw where I kept the backups. 
I have a white Posca pen. I am not really good at this yet. It always comes out very watery, so I think I need practice. I have this pick-me-up tool. This is a silhouette tool, which is a like cutting machine, but I don't use it for that. This side essentially has um, like wall tack, so it's really helpful to pick up small things or sequins, things like that, for when I am uh, doing scrapbooking. And then this side is actually double-ended, and this is a very pointy poker, and this is more of a scrapey poker. And I don't really use those sides too much, but if, again, if you get something stuck, it's nice to like scrape things up with that. I keep a tiny ruler. Oh, this is so hard to show these things because I'm just, you're seeing behind it. So a six inch ruler, again, majority for my bullet journaling, but I keep a glass nail file, especially now that my nails are done by myself instead of professionals. You gotta have that with me. I have my blender pencil for Prismacolor on an extender. This is like my fourth blender pencil, which is pretty cool. I keep a pair of scissors. My dad got these for me in my Christmas stocking one year and I saw them and I was like, that's the weirdest thing ever, but I really like them. So I keep those in there. And then I keep some writing pens. So RCP is my favorite brand of pen. So I keep those. And then this is a Precise Pilot V5, something like that. I keep every month, oh no, I keep my gray tools. So my gray Tri Plus and my gray Mild Liner. I again have the rest of these somewhere else, which you'll see in the next video. But I keep these right in here because I just use gray a lot in bullet journaling. I keep my monthly colors. I've decided to make it not overwhelming for myself. I just pick two fine liners and one monthly mild liner. And that's what I use in my bullet journal predominantly. Obviously, if I need more colors, I can just go get them. But this is, for the most part, what I use. And I also really like using one highlighter a month because then when I'm tracking things over the whole year, everything in this color I'll know is from July. And then, this is my favorite thing. This is a Cricut spatula, which is, again, another cutting machine. I had a Cricut, never really used it. I got it before it was internet capable, and I feel like that's really what killed it for me. I use this for everything. I don't understand. I use this to like pull, pick up edges of picture frames when I need to take the picture out. I use this to put down washi tape to rip the edges. I just, I find so many uses for this. It is my favorite tool. So that is that. Next drawer. That's the longest drawer. So I keep these guys on my desk. These are the fiber, Faber. Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pens, the brush tips. Um, zoop. So I got, again, my dad in my stocking gave me a six pack of them. And then the, the last place I went before quarantine was to Blick to pick up a bunch. And the first place I went to after quarantine was to pick up a few more because I realized I didn't have any reds or browns. So that's what's on top. I'm hoping to do a haul that I'll show you the last six I bought. But they just fit in here so perfectly that I had to put them in there. So I did. The next two drawers are scrapbook relating. This is just like a bunch of little bits and bobs that I would like to use. Sometimes you get the little bits and bobs and you forget you have them. So my goal is to just come in here first when I'm crafting for little bits and bobs. So it's a lot of wood veneer, some sequins, some acrylic pieces, some puffy stickers, these random pom-poms that are really hard to glue down. So that is that. And my other scrapbooking drawer is my enamel dots. So I've actually seen people use these in their coloring books, but they're so dimensional that I don't think I would like to. But these are about, I don't know if these are all of my enamel dots, but there are a lot of them and I just wanna to remember to use them. And the final drawer. Whew is another catch-all that I'm gonna dump and show you slow. Okay, so there's that drawer. I keep post-it notes, the big size, so two of those. I keep a glue dots, so this is for gluing things, obviously. A lot of those tiny little embellishments need glue dots, and I do use it in other things sometimes, but mostly for scrapbooking. I keep my book washi tape I use the most in my bullet journal. 
And then I keep my monthly washi tape for my bullet journal. And then I keep my tape that I'm using for the split coloring. So I like to use the wide rolls for that. I have a tiny whiteout. I have some extra lead. I have my crafting tweezers, which come in handy. They're weird though, because they like work in the opposite way. So I use these a lot for um, diamond dots, things like that. They're just good to have around. I have a tiny like box cutter. So I have bigger X-Acto knives, but this is just handy to have on my desk. I have some tabs for marking my pages. I'm almost done with this whole book and this was 100, so I'm very excited. I have my favorite eraser again. These just work so well. They like don't leave any marks. I don't know, and they're cute, so I have that. And then finally, I have my current Tagal sharpener. I love the sharpener because it does five different sizes of tip. So I usually keep mine on two for almost everything, but I know some people crank it up to five, so. That is it. That is my whole desk. I also, whoa. Here, I'll, I'll leave you with my mouse pad. So that's my mouse pad. Sam got me as a gift. This was actually my birthday. Um, yeah, so whew, that was it. I always talk too fast and then get winded and then feel silly. So I hope you enjoyed this. I, this, again, I'm hoping to also film a like coloring cart. I have two carts. What are they called? Rascog carts, the three tier carts. And one is exclusively for coloring stuff. I'm kind of outgrowing it and it's a little bit of a problem. And I'm also hoping to film my whole room tour. That might take a little bit longer because I need Sam to help clean up his area too so that we make sure we look presentable. But it is what it is, but try to put our best foot forward. So I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this, comment down below, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. I've been having so much fun filming and I hope you had fun watching. So thank you so much and I'll see you guys later. Bye.